Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildberry Island! I am Siri, the pixel biologist, tending to this wonderful wild land, and it looks like Margie has actually come by to hang out with us on the mum cushions! <gasps> That's adorable! You know what we need to do today? Today we are going to carry on with our efforts to prepare for the wonders of Earth Day! which for you guys is actually going to be tomorrow. I know it is April 20th whilst I am recording this right now, which was yesterday for all of you, but I am recording a little late because we had that amazing, amazing live stream that finally went up on our YouTube side of things where Chips and I went on a great date watching KK Slider, being able to tidy up the island. Oh, and that's actually when we tended to my big garden. <gasps> Ursula! Ursula just came from Special Event Island, you guys! What the heck? I have not seen somebody. Oh my gosh, and she's looking. <gasps> and she's watering the flowers with her adorable watering can. That's it. I need to make customized watering cans for everybody on the island and give them as way as gifts. That is absolutely something that needs to happen. But Ursula, good morning. I guess you were like taking care of the flowers on Special Event Island? You know, for the special event of Earth Day? What is up, Siri? Oh my gosh, she's so excited. You ever stand on the beach, look out at the other islands, and wonder what life's like there, Guru? <gasps> Ursula, don't leave me! I don't have your amiibo card. Tell me about it. Tell- no, Ursula! Come back! Come back! Don't leave me! Still got more to say, Guru? Seems like every time I see a rare bug, I end up scaring it off. I know you're supposed to creep up on them nice and quiet, but that just ain't my style. Next time, though, I'm gonna roll up on that bug so fast, it won't know what caught it, Guru. <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad to see that Ursula is feeling cheerful and we absolutely need to make all of the villagers custom watering cans because that was too precious. <clears throat> but yes, so anyway, guys, don't worry. Today will hopefully be for you a day where we'll have another double daily and we'll see what's going down on Tuesday because we have a lot to do to prepare for the arrival of Earth Day, which I'm very excited about and I'm planning in case, you know, Earth Day special stuff does happen on actually live streaming uh, a chunk of Earth Day. <gasps> oh, look, we have a pink cosmos. Yes. Oh, that's so lucky. We'll go ahead and replace one of these red cosmos with the pink cosmos in just a second. Uh, but I am hoping to do a normal episode early in the morning for Earth Day, just so you guys know what our wild berry adventure schedule looks like. And then, potentially, if everything goes well, doing a live stream, Chips may or may not join us, maybe for some of it, maybe for all of it, we'll have to see, of just enjoying whatever the Earth Day update special is. I still have no idea what it's going to be as of now. I don't know if more news has come out. Don't spoil it for me. But no matter what, I know we're going to have a great time. We're going to be surrounded by flowers. We're going to be surrounded by friends. It's going to be awesome. So do check out the link in the video description if you'd like to follow along on our Twitch for when hopefully that will happen. I'll have to see. I mean, you know, anything could happen. So if it doesn't happen, don't worry. We'll, like, Chips and I have a little tiny goal of having a date night stream, listening to KK Slider every week. Don't know if that can happen. You know, we gotta be flexible. But I'm at least gonna try. Oh my gosh, look at all these beautiful flowers. So all right, I think that covers some of the pixel biology news for the morning. Now, what are we gonna do on Wildberry? Other than catch that beautiful butterfly. And... Gotcha! Oh, I just love being surrounded by butterflies. That's one of the super special things about being here in Wildberry. Well, let's go ahead and actually move this wonderful pink cosmos, one of the hybrids, over. And we'll actually, ooh, we actually need that red cosmos right there for making flower wagons. Oh, <gasps> my pockets are full. You guys, my pockets are full. Oh my gosh, I forgot my pockets are full. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the really cool stuff that I actually got from Chips and I's home island. Uh, and then today we're going to try to set up a couple of our Earth Day micro gardens, our little small gardens that we're doing in like small parks all over the island. And I'm thinking today we need to show off some benches that we can put down a whole bunch of these flowers on. And we should go ahead and craft up some more of the flower uh, mum cushions. We should customize them, put them down all over the place for everybody to enjoy. 
All right, where'd that, where'd that? Oh, I can't actually plant my pink cosmos buds yet. The heck? Here, I'll put down this clay. Swap. There we go. And now I can go ahead and we can plant this cute little pink cosmos. Perfect. All right, so let's begin the morning by emptying my pockets. I have a lot of cool things to show you guys uh, that I picked up on Chips and I's home island. And we'll find some places to decorate with these flowers until we need to use them in crafting events. So that's going to be fun. Speaking of flowers we need, let's pluck those yellow or those cosmos. <gasps> and the yellow mums! We need these yellow mums to make more mum chairs. Perfect. That's why I brought those guys down there. I remember now. Oh, and then yesterday we actually, or yesterday for me, we actually planted pansy. Paradise Plateau and we'll go check up and see how those are flowers are growing But after I left you guys with planting pansy at Paradise Plateau I actually came over here and I planted dozens of cosmos seeds Which will hopefully be opened up and ready for making cosmos flower crowns Which I'm very excited about uh, When it comes to Earth Day I'm really I'm putting a lot of hype into Earth Day even if, you know, nothing actually happens, perhaps it will just be a normal day. Uh, in which case, I'd be a little sad. We'll still make it a special day. I knew I heard you. I knew you were coming to me, beautiful. Alright, come here, balloon. And we're actually going to pick... Well, can I pick the cosmos? I think I can. We're going to pick these cosmos. So that we can have more flowers to make cosmos crowns with. All right, and just wait for this balloon. All right, do I have room in my pockets? Just barely. All right, let's open this up and see what the sky has given us today. <gasps> A silver mic! No way, you guys! The villagers will sing at this! If we put this over somewhere in the town plaza, they'll actually sing at this microphone. I'm so excited to have it. Yes! Okay, well, let's continue with Operation Clean Out Series Pockets. <gasps> the Apple Bowl! So, there's a special story behind this adorable DIY, friends. I popped over to Chips and I's home island last night and was quite the billy goat. You may ask, what does that mean, Siri? Well, you see all of these flowers in my pockets? Very few of them are actually from here, Wildberry Island, and a uh, disproportionate amount of them may have come from Chips and I's home island, where I may or may not have run around being a bit of a billy goat and uh, grabbing all of the potential flowers that I could find that we are needing for our DIY recipes. And Chips looked up, because he was also doing his dailies and tending to our home island on his Switch, which one day you guys will see, and all of a sudden he was like, where are my flowers? Because I took them. I took them. I grabbed the white pansies. I grabbed the red pansies. I grabbed the yellow pansies. I grabbed some mums. I grabbed the roses. I grabbed the cosmos. So all of these flowers actually come from that island. And as I was running around yelling, I am a sheep. I am a goat. What do you expect? I gotta eat flowers. I gotta eat flowers. And trying to get away from him waving the bug net at me, I dashed into Hazel's house. And lo and behold, Hazel was working on a DIY. You guys haven't met Hazel yet, but she's actually one of our most interesting villagers on Home Island, and it will be my pleasure to introduce you guys in the future. But the DIY Hazel was working on to give me sanctuary from, you know, chips chasing me is the apple ball. Behold. Let's check this out, because this is going to be so cool. You guys, it's actually... A wall of apples! Look at this! For 20 apples, we can actually create the apple wall now, which looks amazing, and I'm also hoping that all of the effort to create it will actually make our apples more valuable here on the home island. I Because they're our native fruit, apple a day keeps the doctor away. But I wonder if the price of crafting that is going to be greater than selling our apples to another island. We'll have to find out. We'll gather up some apples and we'll conduct a bit of an experiment today. All right, but while we're down here, let's actually search for some DIYs along the beach. Let's see. 
<gasps> Yay! For some reason, my DIYs always seem to wash up on the side of the island, so that was a good guess. And what do we have today? Hello, mysterious stranger. I first, When I first saw the ocean, I thought, well, that's big. But then I thought of this recipe. As they say, sharing is caring. So here you go. It's time to become a DIY legend. Sincerely, Henry. All right, Henry. <gasps> Golden Gears! Oh no, Henry, I already know that one, but I can give it away to somebody. Still, very exciting to have another recipe dedicated to gold. Oh, Ursula, hey! <gasps> you guys, look! She's running right up to that bug to give it the, the old... Oh, that was cute. Ursula, that was adorable. All right, she's distracted, but that was really cute. All right, so now we have the apple wall. I don't have enough room to carry the apples just yet. And I actually have another very, very, very special Earth Day special DIY I need to share with you guys that fell out of a balloon and had me like extremely yelling in joy and happiness. It's this DIY right here. It's very special. It's perfect for our Earth Day efforts, but I'll have to share it with you guys in just a minute. Um, I think for now, actually, can I, you can either place items like the flowers to make these cute little flower vases, or you can just go ahead and drop them, which I think actually looks even cooler because it's like you're just sprinkling flowers everywhere. So let's actually drop a few flowers. The yellow roses are good. Let's go ahead and drop the cosmos. Maybe down here. Well, I want to keep them nearby these little like garden spots we're making so that I know where to find them again. <laughs> All right, let's drop maybe the red pansies. And then we're gonna make some wooden or some wooden chairs and some wooden log tables today to start decorating. Let's see. The log dining table. That's a big one. I actually just wanted like a nice, a nice like one by two log table, but I guess I don't know a one by two table, huh? Truly? Truly? Oh, but I know hay beds! Okay, I mean, hay beds would be a little rustic for what I'm going for, but, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do sometimes. Um, we could also make just a bunch of log stools. We need a ton of hardwood to do this. There's the large garden lounge. There's the wooden block bench. Uh, the wooden block table. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could put a dining table in the center right here. <gasps> What's up? What? What's the matter, Lily? Or Puddles? I'm doing my best out here, you know? What happened? I love singing and dancing, and I want to be the biggest pop star in the world, so I'm working really hard. But Kitty thinks the skill to be a pop star is just something you're born with. Natural talent is nothing without practice and hard work. Now that's ironic, because in our little roleplay of Wildberry Island, Kitty is actually a piano teacher. So it sounds like she thinks if you're going to become a fantastic musician, it's just something you're born with. Okay, so good to know. It doesn't seem like she likes people. I totally understand. Look, natural talent is nothing without hard work and dedication. I'm so glad you understand. I feel so much better now. I do see Kitty's point, but I also know I'm destined to sing songs that cause world peace. Oh my gosh. I love you so much, Lily. I want to make her a little flower crown. Like, really badly, actually. In fact, why do we need to wait until we finish with Earth Day? Let's make, let's make our adorable Lily, who shall sing forth world peace, a flower crown. Uh, are you guys going to calm down now? All right, let's try it. Let's see if they're getting along. If I was going to have a giant bug as a roommate, it'd have to be... Oh, the spider, for sure. Okay, that's adorable. Agreed. The orderly fashion of their webs. You just know they'd keep things clean around the house. They might be six feet tall, have eight legs, neat bugs for dinner. But I'll take a neat roommate any time. What about you, Siri? What kind of giant bug roommate would you choose? Uh, let me think about it. There's not a bad one. Do you have a bunch of legs? Are you gigantic? Want to pay half the rent? You're in! Okay, this is adorable. Indeed, a recipe for domestic bliss, bro. Okay, that was freaking adorable. Uh, let's go ahead and put the mic out over here. 
Oh wait, I can't put things in the plaza. Okay, let's put the mic out over here. And then I'm gonna move the stereo forward a little bit. And I heard you! Hang in there, guys. Down here. Found it. See, I knew there was gonna be a new addition to our wonders of Wildberry floating in the sky here. All right, what kind of gift from the sky do we have today? Let's check it out. <gasps> a cypress plant! Oh, I'm telling you, it was meant to be. Let's see. There's no room to put anything here. Dang it, I really wanted to put the cypress plant like right up against Pierce's house, but that's okay. Uh, this is actually wonderful because we can go ahead and use the cypress plant as some of our decoration. So let's scoot maybe this butterfly over one. And then a beautiful cypress plant has just fallen from the sky. <gasps> I love the color of its pot! Oh, that's gonna be fantastic. And I guess we could do a log dining table, but I really wanted log chairs. Hmm. Oh, and I do want to go ahead and make our wonderful Lily a flower crown because she was so rudely upset. Uh, we have pink roses now, but not orange roses. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make Lily, what color would look best on her? Maybe a Cosmos crown? I think Lily would look best with a Cosmos crown. All right, let's go ahead and actually pick up the yellow Cosmos. And we're gonna make our first flower crown for the villagers. I really should be making a ton of these right now. Oh, and speaking of, you know, crowns, I have something cool to show you guys in just a second. Sorry I'm all over the place again. I have definitely bitten off more than I can chew with trying to like tackle all of these things. Uh, and I want to, uh, you know, do everything so I get distracted easily. Oh, Julian's hanging out back there. Oh, Margie, hi! Good afternoon, Tootie. I'm trying to make the most of today. That's really nice, Margie. Did you need me? You remember our recent visitor, Yurple? I guess maybe I should have asked if you remember our recent visitor, Hobby Level Stockholder. <laughs> okay, that is my friend, uh, Yurple, and he actually popped over to buy my turnips the other the other day on Sunday. And he's the one who dropped off a whole bunch of the Cosmos seeds, so that's really nice of him. All right, let's see. Oh, and we actually have a Nook Piles to change our look. And that's actually on my list. Whenever we see a Nook Miles that says change your appearance, I'm gonna start trying to actually do that. So uh, we'll change our appearance in just a second. Where did Lily go? Not over here. This is one of the spots I wanna work on. Okay, goal will be to tidy up this spot and to tidy up this spot today. Those will be our two big goals. But first we need to find where Lily went now that I put out a microphone for her. Hmm, what now, what now? Oh, what's going on, Sky? Please, I really need your help. <gasps> of course I'll help you. You're more skilled than I am, so I have a favor to ask you. Can you please catch me a zebra turkey fish? Sure I can. You're the best, Siri. If anyone could catch one, it's you. Oh dear, like what? I, well, I have a lot to do, Sky, but it's you. Of course I'm gonna try. I wonder, I might need to look up like when zebra turkey fish show up. Is this a zebra turkey fish? Oh my good gravy. It's a zebra turkey fish. Sky, I have to say, I didn't expect that, but I'm really glad it was that easy. Also, we need to start sending Margie some gifts guys because I thought I heard a balloon. Because we, I don't think we've been very good to our newest villager who's visiting for her friend Annalisa, you know? It's so good to be out here in the fresh air, Elmer. Elmer. There we go. I don't know why she needs a zebra turkey fish. I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just happy to provide it. Look at this! It's my very own zebra turkey fish! Thank you! I got a small gift because you said you'd do this. Oh, what's this? A giant ribbon. I hope it's something you like. <gasps> You've been such a big help. I knew I could count on you, Airmel. Sky! You guys, she gave us a giant ribbon. That's too cute. I, I, I probably will replace it in just a second, Sky, but that is too cute. Also, Puddles is here taking a nap. That dress. No, I didn't. Um, where am I? Oh my gosh, did I fall asleep? The fresh air felt so nice and I just... 
Yawn. That's adorable. Hey, Sheldon. How you doing this morning? Hey, Cardio. You good? This weather really gets the muscles glistening, Cardio. Okay, he's happy. Come here, Puddles. I have a gift for you. All right. This is yours. I think this was the right choice. She loves that fairy dress we gave her. Cosmos crown. Yay! Oh, she's adorable. Oh! And she gave us some money. Sweet. That'll go towards paying off the Wild Research Center. Thank you. Thank you very much, Puddles. Also, this is like one of my favorite rare butterflies. Oh, we can leave the favorite rare butterfly out. Oh, of course, you guys. The butterflies, too, must go out as a decoration for this area. That's perfect. Here, I'll put the butterfly down here. And we'll go ahead and place item. All right, let's scooch it this way. I happen to see another rare butterfly in the background that's about to join our little nature area that we're creating. Don't think you can get away from me! Sunset Madagascan butterfly! Gotcha! No, gotcha! All right, we got him! Yes, that's how we can decorate down there too. Perfect. We'll go ahead and wiggle down here. And we can add in a spot with a couple beautiful... Don't release! A couple beautiful butterflies to be able to show some of the pollinators who take care of the land. Very happy about that. And since we can't have one nice big uh, table that's pretty long, I don't want a huge table, so we'll make a whole bunch of little log stools, I think. Uh, and, hmm, okay, we'll make a couple of log stools, put down some flowers, and then I will reveal what this DIY is, because I'm ridiculously excited about that DIY. Then we'll actually change our appearance, since, you know, we probably do want to vary it up now and then. And I think this, this DIY, mm, it's gonna make me want to change appearance. Hey, Ursula! Alright, so let's come on over. We need a whole bunch of hardwood, actually. So I might need to go in the house to get more. Which is good, because we can drop off all the other stuff we're hauling around. My pockets are full! Full of flowers! Which is, you know, the way I want to live. Oh, geez. And my house is a mess, which is not the way I want to live. Also, we got a bunch of little bags and things I can probably give away. Some tiny shades I can probably give away. We're going to hold on to these agrius butterflies. And I got some new walls that I can show you guys really quickly. Let's see. No, that's not what I wanted to show you. We want to place this horizontally. But check this out! Aren't these pretty? They were at Chips and I's home island as uh, different wallpapers that we could have. And I actually think that this looks great for our main room. We're going to use all of the other fancy walls, like the jungle flooring and everything, soon. But I want to try to start tidying this place up a little. All right, also I got some noble pants while I was visiting Chips and I's home island. I can give away that color block dress shirt. Ooh, the painting set. We want to put that away for the future. I have plans for it. Uh, this white hyacinth we're actually going to need for crafting. The campfire cookware we'll put somewhere later. Sweater. Oh, the sweater on shirt. <laughs> Um, that's actually for Julian. I remember I bought that for Julian because I thought it would be perfect for him. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop this. Wonderful. And now our pockets are full of flowers that we will be decorating the land with. And now we just need to fill it with hardwood. Excellent. All right, let's do this. There are so many things I want to do for Earth Day, so I better just at least do a few of them. It's probably better to start with small plans and build your way up after all. And tomorrow, or for you guys today in the double daily episode, I want to decorate with leaves! We're going to try to make as many of these green leaf piles as I can and sprinkle them all over the island as very special decor. All right, let's come over here. Let's craft up a few of those log tables. Let's make sure that I don't have any longer tables I could use. Hmm. Hmm. Anything, anything. Let me check. No, see, I want this long dining table, but not big. I just want it smaller. But I guess that means we'll just have to go ahead and craft a bunch of these. 
That's fine. We can get those going. Log stool. Can you color these log stools? You can customize the log stools? What? Okay, we'll go ahead and try customizing a couple of them to go and see what they look like. All right, let's craft a couple more. I suppose, I wonder if we can actually put flowers on top of the butterfly? Like, because you can place things on the butterfly, but maybe it's just other butterflies. All right, more log stools, please. I love that we're surrounded by butterflies. I really believe the number of flowers you have increases the number of butterflies and some of the other bugs, like the bees that show up. So if you don't have as many, because I feel like we're surrounded 24-7 by butterflies. Well, you know, during the daytime. So if you don't have a lot of them, give that a try. All right, so let's come this way. And I'm going to actually put down a log stool. <gasps> Kitty! I think Kitty is... She's covered in fleas! Kitty, I'm gonna let you have your fleas for just a minute because I- Oh, Julian, hey! I cannot believe that Kitty, like, was telling Puddles, No, darling, singing is something you're born a natural talent with. And then she just straight up goes and, like, my jaw's kind of on the ground. Oh, these are cute! Orange wood, dark wood. Oh, what kind of wood do we want? I think we'll go ahead and keep it dark wood for now, because I really like the dark wood look. And do I actually have... I have a garden wagon in my pockets. I totally forgot I had a garden wagon in my pockets. <laughs> no wonder my pockets are so full. Oh, peacock butterfly. Come to me, beautiful. You can be over in our decorative area, too. Yay! All right, let's put the garden wagon over here. Can't believe I'm still carrying this around. That's funny. And I think I'm going to rotate that. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. I love these garden wagons. Let's see. We'll leave it right over here for now. Excellent. I don't know what the final place will look like, but I'm proud that we're doing these decorations. All right, so let's come down and put maybe... I can't believe Kitty's over there singing. She straight up is telling Puddles, like, darling, natural talent is, is something you're just born with. And then she just goes over and starts singing her heart away. Like, that's kind of, that's, that's, that's got a little bit of a, a rude mood to it, if you ask me. Rude mood. Kitty does seem like she's a little bit, she could be a little bit rude, though. Alright. You can put little flowers on top of the butterflies! And Ursula is still trying to do a whole bunch of... <laughs> she's still trying to do a whole bunch of, like, catching of the ant the little bug catching. That's what I was trying to say. It was so cute. Alright, so let's actually... Can I drop it on top of the butterflies? I can! <gasps> That's so cute! We can use butterflies as decoration and then drop flowers on top of them. To show, like, yeah, these are our pollinators. They help to pollinate the flowers. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm very happy with that. Then we can go ahead and place more log stools. Excellent. Oh my gosh, Ursula, you're so cute. <laughs> I was gonna put something on that log stool, but since you're there. All right, then let's add another log stool right here. Excellent. So I think on the back log stool, it would be fine. To go ahead and come over. I wonder if there's a small... Let's see, let's go ahead and drop. Now the pansies are over there. Oh, Ursula really seems to like our little Earth Day setup we've got over here. That makes me very happy. Uh, let's see, and we'll go ahead and drop the roses right here. And then on this side, we'll drop some pansies. This. It's a lot more simple than I was actually expecting to make. And let's place this. But it really strikes at the heart of what I wanted to show off. Like all of the pretty flowers. Let's drop these. 
and then eventually some nice items and maybe we could fit no this doesn't have enough space we could fit at least a couple more things down here if we had like nice things to decorate with and we'll actually put mum cushions down here so ursula i know i'm covering up the chair that you just used but we could go ahead and put down okay it looks like the apples can't go on there that's fine so let's see what else do we have I mean, I guess we could just put down like whole leaves. Can I do that? I put a long stool on top of a long stool. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute in its own silly little way. And we're still leaving some room. Let's see, I'm gonna move these real quick. Let's push this. So no, if we do that, then you can't see the butterflies. Okay. I'm really happy that we have like these little decorations. There we go. That we can sprinkle all over the place. Let's drop these. There we go. Nice! It's not perfect, but it is a excellent beginning, if you ask me, to being able to make Earth Day really be celebrated. Um, now, Kitty, I'll take your fleas in just a second. It's time to show you guys this. The special DIY that I am so ridiculously excited fell out of a balloon, and it will be on my head to celebrate Earth Day. Let's do this. A fruit reef! A fruit reef, you guys! This is just too amazing! What does it look like? I have no idea what it looks like. <gasps> I can't wear it on my head! I thought it was a crown for some reason. <laughs> Okay, I cannot wear this on my head, but we can go ahead and make this for our villagers as a way to celebrate the village. Okay, that's hilarious. I really thought, because I think I was so excited about the flower crowns that it was a flower crown. It's not. That makes me laugh. Uh, but you know what? We can go ahead and make a pansy flower crown and maybe change for today. Also, I'll give some of the villagers more of their gifts. Um, hmm... And then for Earth Day, now we have a bunch of butterflies and like a little, this can be a little section with some mum cushions and butterflies and flowers that talk about pollinators. And then maybe over here, you doing good, Ursula? I think she's doing good. Julian is literally skipping. And Puddles is humming. So Puddles and I were just talking about collecting stamps. I didn't know folks had st such strong opinions about it. I've been collecting stamps for a minute, but I didn't think anyone actually cared. Oh my gosh, Julian, thank you for making Puddles happy. I feel like I've seen you more today than I've seen anyone else, ever. I just saw C CJ. I love bringing him fish. He's always so happy to see me. <gasps> what, CJ's here? The heck? I don't have enough time to be able to do all these awesome things now. Oh my goodness. Where's, okay, I got the peacock butterfly, thank goodness. Thank you, Margie. I really need to give Margie more gifts. Julian, while you're here, Yes, I have something for you, darling. Yes, for you. Don't cause any drama today, okay? Just behave yourself. Here you go. Sweater on shirt. Yes. Oh, it looks so perfect on him. <laughs> it looks so perfect on him. Oh my gosh. Alright, that makes me pretty happy. But all right, and finally we come down here, and you know what, guys? I've given it some thought. As cool as it is to have this thing covered in leaves, it's just not quite the look I want for it. So we're actually going to buy some more customization. Yeah, I'm going to need some more customization pieces. We're going to customize... Oh, this is a fossil. I thought I, like, buried some clay here, so I'm... <gasps> My shovel! So I'm actually quite shocked. Poor Blathers. I'm just so busy i don't even have time to visit with him lately there we go and cj is here are you kidding me i hear you you thought you could escape my ears oh look at now ursula singing i'm so glad i put that over there i want to find a more naturalistic looking uh stereo to leave outside but i wanted to put it out after all my villagers were fighting a couple days ago julian was causing so much drama <gasps> it's a sign! It's a sign! If we got the green leaf pile, it is definitely a sign. Tomorrow we cover this place in leaves, friends. Absolutely a sign. Oh, I'm so tickled. Alright, uh, speaking of signs... I, the boys want a fountain. Oh my gosh, that sounds expensive. Alright, CJ's here. I need to figure out what kind of fish to give him. Hi guys! 
books. <gasps> These books are so cute. I want to give them to some of the villagers. Yeah, of course I want to buy this. Heck. Thank you, thank you. And then there's some knives. What the heck? A knife block? You know what? I'll go ahead and buy it. Also, you guys have that weird inflatable couch and that weird radio, huh? Uh, the inflatable couch is just the worst thing. Do I have anything to sell them at the moment? Um, I guess the peacock butterfly I can go ahead and sell. And... The color block dress shirt? Yeah, I don't really want my villagers to wear that. So, there we go. I know it's not much boys, but today is a busy day. There you go, there you go. I've gotta, I've gotta go craft some mum cushions. However, before I leave, I need more customization pieces, please. I think the custom is- Oh, they're more expensive than I thought! Oh my gosh, they're a lot more expensive than I thought! Yes, thank you guys! Oof! Oof! Alright, we could also buy some saplings. Uh, I don't want to buy cedar saplings. Oh geez, we're gonna need more money before I can buy some saplings. Um, we'll buy a couple of them. Because they're going to decorate the other park area that we're trying to spruce up real fast. Alright, I'm good, thanks! Oh my goodness. Alright, thanks guys! Oh, I can't believe CJ's here. We might not be able to see him together, but I will try to find him to commission some sort of fish. Alright, how are the clothes? Oh, we don't have to even time for the clothes! Such a pity! Alright, let's go this way. So I do want to redo this area quite a bit. I think we're actually going to remove this tulip surprise box and we're going to make this area more into uh, like a workshop for gardening where we will put a whole bunch of uh, hopefully fun decorations. Let me come this way. Like the leaf pile, we'll put down a few- oh, peacock butterfly. That's like two and a half saplings. Get over here, friend! Oh, missed. We can put down another flower wagon. There we go. And you know what? Maybe we'll make the Earth Day celebration. No! We've lost both my net and my shovel. We have been heckin' busy, friends. Alright, let's come this way and we're gonna customize that stall again. Oh, you can customize the tulip surprise box? <gasps> I love that you can make them multiple colors. Oh, we should do a little tulip garden up by where I'm going to have Sky's reading nook in the future. But let's come and customize this stall again because I have been trying really hard to like get into this, like convincing myself I like the different colors of the stall. But I think what I want is actually to do this custom design right here. It's a beautiful little floral design that I found online with floral green stripes. <gasps> I totally forgot we had all this information about the flowers! Heck yes! Okay, let's customize this. You guys, I'm beginning to think we need to have just an entire rest of the month dedicated to nature celebrations. Kind of like, uh, you know, like nature week or nature month and earth month, flower month, something like that. Julian, pardon me, Julian. Julian. We talked about this. About the whole don't start some drama thing. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's so sassy. Oh, this is so much nicer. Excellent. And then we can come in and maybe put down another wooden plaza area. And then over here, we can do things like... Let's grab one. And we're going to go ahead and drop one. Look at that! Isn't that so cute? Yes, Jillian! Good job! Good job, water the thing! I'm so proud of you! And we can go ahead and drop these pansies. Like so, you see? I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it! And also, I think I need to make myself a pansy crown really quickly. In which case, I need to grab some yellow pansies. Yeah, we're gonna stretch this out into, I think, a whole month of celebrations. Because we're putting so much effort into setting up Special Event Island, into figuring out how to make our own little parks again. Let's make a pansy crown. 
There we go. And you know what? I have a special dress to actually show you guys too. That I'm pretty darn excited about. That will help with the huge celebration of wildlife. It's just a wildlife month. It's a wildlife time. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the celebration going, basically. All right, so we put on the pansy crown, and I actually want to wear a new dress, not the alpinist dress, even though it's ridiculously cute. We're gonna go ahead and put on this sprout dress, which is so cute. And we'll wear some little everyday tights with it. We'll go with these gray ones, I think. And we'll keep our little shoes on. Or maybe, oh my gosh, we'll put on the antique boots. <laughs> All right. Let's try this out. It's pretty cute. I actually miss my apron a lot. I feel like my apron is just so straightforward. And actually, I feel like the pansy crown doesn't match. Yeah, Spies. Hmm. Hmm. All right, what other crowns do I have that I could wear? Hyacinth, the cool windflower, which I think would match better. The cosmos crown, which I don't think would match. You know what, it's really cute. This is the sprout dress. Somebody actually found it for me on Twitter, which I am so immensely grateful for. And I think if I was not in the mood to wear a pansy crown, it would match perfectly. But I do want to wear a pansy crown right now. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and change back into, there we go into this outfit. Also, this just makes me feel like a little gardener, like 100%. So there we go. But at least we tried a new outfit and I do want to wear that sprout dress. So thank you very much to the person who found it for me. I like it so much. However, I will, I will have to wait on that. All right, so we're doing pretty good with fixing up some areas, tidying up some areas. Do we still have hardwood? We do still have hardwood. We're gonna go ahead and replace these rocks with hardwood. I will go ahead and off camera come in and put down a big plaza made out of normal wood. Oh, peacock butterfly, peacock butterflies! <gasps> and I don't have a net! Give net! Give! Oh, fine, I'll make a net later. Oh, oh my heart, that's 5,000 bells flying away. Okay, but we'll wrap up pretty soon because we have already covered so much. Clearly, my projects and plans are just expanding in all directions. So we'll go ahead and get these crafted. And I think we, not only do we have CJ, who I will have to go ahead and turn in a cool item to, uh, but we also happen to have a camper. So let's go check out that camper real quick and see what they need because we are wildlife rangers of Wildberry Island. And anytime there's a camper, I want to take good care of them. All right, so there we go. And then maybe, what else do we have? Anything else for that corner right now? I don't think so. Other than the fact I do want to make some extra watering cans to put over there. So let's actually grab this. And I want to give everybody their own watering cans. That should absolutely be a goal of mine, to recolor and give away some watering cans. Julian has to have a blue one. I already gave him a gift today, though. And Sheldon, I would definitely make Sheldon maybe a gold one. Because he's just precious. All right, there we go. And let's come on down. With too much to do every day, I'm really happy with what we have achieved, though. Let's put stone stool, book stands, knife block, tulip supplies, surprise box, log a dining table. Yes. So we're going to put this over here. And on the dining table, I'm going to, like, I want to put flower seeds as decoration. And I also want to have, like, all of these watering cans. Oops, let's place the watering can. Julian's getting into the mood. He's sniffing that flower in the back. Place. Oh, you can only place those on the ground, huh? All right, well, we'll manage that. I'm not too concerned. And then where are my log stools? We'll have a log stool here. Can I place my watering can? 
Nope. Tools go on the ground only, it seems. That's fine. All right. Stone stool. I can actually go ahead and decorate with leaves that way by putting the stone stools we just had here down instead. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Stone stool, knife block, log stool. Perfect. And we'll find something to decorate on that spot in a little bit. And this is looking so much nicer. I love how much we can customize and decorate everything. Oh my gosh. But all right, guys, we're almost out of time for today. Uh, I do think we really managed to work on this area quite a bit. Let's put down at least a couple more mums and just see what the mums have to say. So a couple more of the mum chairs. And I do want to like decorate with those kind of all over the place, but... Again, forget being ready just for Earth Day. We're just going to make it into a big month of special events. Oh, I need weeds for that. Curses! All right, we'll work on that later. Tomorrow, because tomorrow we're hopefully going to be making a ton... Ooh, weeds, yay! We're going to be making a ton of green leaves to sprinkle everywhere. And then up here, we can take away that cute little picnic area and we can try to transform it into a little tulip surprise corner where the villagers can sit and rest and be surprised by tulips. Yeah! Finally, let's come in and see our camper and then we'll glance at the mail probably tomorrow. Sorry guys. Oh, hi! Gwen! It's very nice to meet you! You want to impress your friends with a souvenir? Gosh, I wonder why she showed up today. <gasps> A palm tree lamp? I'll make it for you! Gwen! 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 My friends will be green with envy when they see it. Gwen, I love you! <laughs> Come on, guys! Cypress plants and green leaf piles were falling from the sky, and now our, our camper who showed up today, apparently to make her friends jealous of all things, is teaching us... A palm tree lamp. Please tell me it looks decent. Please tell me it doesn't look tacky. Please tell me it looks more like a palm tree. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> we'll have to see. We need four coconuts, four wood, and four clay. I'll be right back, Gwen. You guys, wow. All right, so Operation Find CJ. I'll surprise you all tomorrow with whatever flower I end up picking. Uh, or what flower, sorry. Whatever fish I end up being able to pick to give him. And then I will also surprise you guys tomorrow. Let's grab these. Let's grab these. There we go. There we go. With whatever DIYs I'm able to pick up from our villagers, I think I might need to actually smack a tree. Because we're running low on wood of all things. Can you believe it? I might need to do... Oh, that'd be so cool! Just to do some, like, item gathering special streams just to chill and be like guys I just need to like stock up on wood and a lot of people have actually been suggesting and I'm really intrigued by this idea uh, that we should go ahead there we go but a lot of people have been suggesting that we should go ahead and make a special camp uh, cabin like a, a cabin that would be a player cabin but we would put it up high in one of the wild areas and we would make it into a little camp spot and I think that'd be great to have the extra storage as well so that we'd be able to go ahead and say that we had storage for all of this extra wood then we could do these really cool streams where we could all just hang out gather a ton of supplies put them in the cabin not this place not the wildlife research center but the cabin up in the woods as storage and then anytime we really had ripped through all of my supplies here, like we have already done, we could totally just go up to the cabin and grab supplies. So that sounds really fun too. I'm I'm really, I'm loving Wildberry. It's become such a special experience and I've been so happy to share every minute of it with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and craft Gwen this very lovely palm tree lamp. We'll have to see exactly what kind of lamp it turns out to be. And let Gwen go forth and let everybody know about the wonders of how beautiful Wildberry can be.
Also, I'm really happy with what we've done over here, but how could we <gasps> put two mom chairs right here? Of course. Okay, that's it. We're gonna need to decorate with a couple moms. I can't, uh, we've got weeds in here. I can't, I can't do it. I can't leave today without having finished at least one of those zones. <laughs> All right, open, open. Grab these clumps of weeds. And then tomorrow we will actually go ahead and start the day with some of the gifts that our fantastic patrons have sent. Soon we'll be doing more gifting and visiting with patrons. So if you guys would actually like to join Wildberry Islands Adventures, do please consider checking out the Patreon, because uh, also that'll help Chips and I be able to take care of ourselves in this rough time. But only if you can. And honestly, like just having y'all here, it means the world to me. So no pressure there, guys. All right, let's go ahead and craft these up. We have enough mums for three adorable mum cushions. And this month, I think we'll just leave these mum cushions like all over the island. What a busy month we've had. It's been like, you know, bunny day. We had our beautiful cherry blossom season. <laughs> Chips and I got married. It's been ridiculously just like one thing after another thing. Oh, we need to customize a couple of them after another thing, but I love it. I really love it. All right, let's go ahead and craft. No, 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 let's go ahead and customize. Almost there, friends. We just have so much to do every day now. I love it. All right, let's make another white one. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and customize up a red one, because we don't have a red one yet. I think Ursula, she li seemed to like the mum cushions. I might have to gift her one in the future. We'll see. Oh, palm tree lamp. <gasps> oh my gosh, you can customize the palm tree lamp. <laughs> my jaw's on the floor. I don't know how I feel about the palm tree lamp uh, being customized. Oops, that one's already red. Uh, did I already change this one? That one's already white. Oh, that's the Tulip Surprise box. Didn't I make three mum cushions? One, two, three. Didn't I make four? Log stool. Oh, I only had three. That's right. Okay, we're fine. I thought I had four for some reason. Wow. You can really make a interesting looking... Um, <clears throat> very, very interesting looking... Can I walk through that? Ooh, that actually makes it too small. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then let's go ahead and put one mum cushion here. And another mum, oh, this is perfect! I didn't even think about decorating them like this, but this is great! Look at that! And then maybe I can decorate it with another peacock butterfly. Facing, oh, I love it, you guys! Then you can come and you can sit and just be amongst all of the butterflies. And we definitely need to have, oh, I know, I know, I know. I know that we're kind of taking a long time and like we're doing a lot, but hang on. I just, I had an epiphany for something we could put over here that I think would be perfect. And then we'll turn in this piece. Okay, right over here, flower. Display here as a painting. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is so great! We have just like a little flower, a little flower sign. Here, here. Actually, let's put this one away. These are thanks to the amazing creators that I have found online. Let's display here. A beautiful botanist painting. And then let's display right over here. I need to find some ones that will talk about butterflies, but let's display here painting oh I love it it's perfect you guys also I hear it skies relaxing hang on guys I knew it all right we'll grab this who knows, maybe it's more greenery, adorable wonderfulness falling from the sky. 
And we will turn in our our very important gift we've made. A paisley bandana. That's wonderful. It, it doesn't have it, it's covered with paisleys at least. Oh my gosh, are they talking? Okay, kitty's itchy. Okay. It, kitty, I will get your flea in a minute. Ah! Julian, pardon me! We've got so much going on! All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and see what this lamp looks like before we go ahead and hand it over. It has been an amazing day. This is definitely an interesting lamp. Doesn't look as naturalistic as we're going for, but I think it's adorable that Gwen came to visit our island and was like, I'm going back with a palm tree lamp for my friends. Hello, Gwen. Here you go, here you go, it's ready. Thank you so much for visiting Wildberry Island. Please let everyone know that the campsite was totally wonderful. Something wonderful, so very authentic to this island. I promise to cherish my fabulous uh, palm tree lamp forever. Please, darling, I want to give you this colorful striped sweater as a token of my gratitude. Why, thank you, Gwen. You fabulous thing, you. You've really helped me make some truly splendid memories here. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Gwen. So I'm glad she had a good time. But all right, guys. CJ, apparently, somewhere. Need to find him. So much to do. <laughs> I am so excited to be able to share more adventures all throughout Wildberry with you guys. So do please check our Twitch. Who knows when we'll be streaming, but probably a lot more often pretty soon. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you later today for you guys for a double daily episode of our Wildberry adventures next time. Bye-bye, guys. Okay, you guys, one last thing. I came into Octavian's house and he was sick, so I brought him some medicine. And of all the things that he rewarded us with, it was a nurse's jacket. So old, my, old man Octavian wasn't feeling so good. We brought him some nice fresh medicine from the Nookling store. He's feeling great now. And he gave us a nurse's jacket. How ridiculously cute is that? I love Wildberry so much.